Welcome back to Fun Friday with Mr. Travis. Happy to be here with you guys. Happy that you guys are tuning in. So let's get started. Before we start our video, I just want to say boop, 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 boop. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the graduating seniors in all of our counties. All you seniors who were in the Boys and Girls Club at one point in time, all you seniors who stayed in the Boys and Girls Club all the way till you graduated, congratulations to our fifth graders who are moving on to middle school, congratulations to our eighth graders who are moving on to high school, congratulations and good luck on your new journeys, all right, guys? All right, so let's get into it. Another thing, as you just saw, I just had a balloon. So today's lesson or today's activity will involve some balloons. So before we get started, let's say the club code. I believe in God. I believe in the right to worship according to my own faith and religion. I believe in America. I believe in America's way of life, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. I believe in fair play, honesty, and good sportsmanship. I believe in my Boys and Girls Club, which stands for these things. All right. So let's get into it, guys. Today, for our activity, what you will need is... You will need a skewer. This is basically a little stick that your parents use to maybe barbecue or grill um, shrimp, chicken, uh, kebabs, steak kebabs, uh, vegetable kebabs. Um, this is something that some of you may have in your home. If you don't have this, maybe you can use a toothpick or you could possibly use a needle if you have that on hand. You also will need balloons and you will also need some type of detergent or some type of liquid soap, okay? So this is an age old trick that has been being done, that has been done for, for many years, many, many years. So basically um, it is considered a magic trick, but really all it is is science, all right? Balloons are made up of molecules chain molecules called polymers. Polymers are all over the surface of this balloon. So I'm going to show you, and let's see if it actually works, what happens when we take our skewer, all I'm doing is taking our skewer, and we are dipping it in some dishwashing soap. And you just coat it lightly across your skewer. So I just, did that. All right. So what you want to do for this trick is you see the balloon is tense. It was, it's stretched out because we have blown air into the inside of it. So what you want to do, if you look at the top of the balloon, you see it's a dark spot at the top of the balloon and there's a dark spot at the bottom of the balloon where the knot is. That's where you would like to insert your skewer because that part doesn't have that much tension. So what we're gonna do is push that through, push that through, check it out guys. Balloon has not popped. Now we are back at the top. And we're gonna to try to push this through the top of our balloon without popping it. Right there. And it looks like our balloon popped. So we're gonna try this again. It is deflating. Uh, probably because too much air is coming out of the top. But what the liquid soap does is, or the dish detergent does, is it slows down the air coming out of the hose. It also reduces the tension in your balloon and it actually stop deflating. So it decreases the tension in the balloon and it basically seals it so that no air is coming out. And that is a cool party trick that you can show. Maybe you want to show your mom a magic trick or your dad a magic trick. And you want to do this at a, as a party favor. There are a lot of balloons going around right now because it's graduation. You might have a cousin, a brother, or a sister who may got tons of balloons and they don't want them anymore. This is a cool trick to do. Or it's just something cool to show your friends how to do. So all you need is a balloon, a skewer, and liquid soap. So I took it one step further because we've kind of been doing science experiments. So what I have done is I have two other skewers. So this is the one that was done with the liquid dish soap. This is a skewer that I'm only going to use some Dove soap. This is just plain regular Dove soap that you have because maybe you might not are able to use 
dish soap. You may get in trouble if you use dish soap or anything like that. So the next thing that we do is same thing like we did with the first one. We want to coat our skewer in this, in this uh, regular body soap, which is Dove. Regular Dove body soap. And all we are doing is coat with. Okay. So after we have put a good amount on our skewer, same trick again. Remember, if you're going to trick somebody and do this, what you want to do is start at the bottom. And you want to try to poke it through, poke it through, poke it through as easy as you can. You don't want to pop your balloon. Remember, you just want it to go through very, very easily. All right. And then we go to the top where is the dark point. And we are going to push that book through, push it easy, push it easy. And another skewer balloon. So you can do this with regular soap. And if you ask me, the regular soap kind of worked a little better because it didn't deflate at all. It did not deflate at all. So there you have it. And like science, we're going to do one more. We're going to use we are going to use regular washing detergent that you wash your clothes in. Because what if you don't have any um, dish soap or you don't know where your mom puts the regular soap at? So you just know where the dish detergent is. But remember, please ask before you use any of these these items, if you have them in your house, just ask your mom or your dad really quick, hey, can I do this activity, Mr. Travis? So show me. And you guys can have some fun tricking a couple of people. All right, so here we go. Let's see where the dark, this is a blue balloon, so it's kind of hard to tell where the, where the darkest point is but I'm just going to try to pick a best one and slide it through. All right, here we go. Look at that, guys. Check it out. And that one actually popped. So, I don't think the dish detergent soap was actually too effective. Um, so, just stick to the... the uh, I'm sorry, the washing soap wasn't too good, the clothing soap. Um, so, just stick to the dish detergent and stick to the regular Dove soap or body soap that you use to wash when you take a bath or anything like that. All right, guys, so that's just something fun that I wanted to show you guys because I thought it was actually cool. Remember to try these videos yourself. Remember to go on our website and uh, register for the upcoming activities that we have this summer. Remember to also subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, Watch these videos, watch these contents because there's a lot of good things on here. Also, add us as a friend on Facebook. We are on Facebook, so please support your local Boys and Girls Club. Remember to have fun, stay safe, and keep good character. Have a good weekend.